Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host, Nathan B. Butler. This time we look at something a little odd that we have seen before, is that this time we want to take a look at how a U.S. version of a product differs from the U.K. in some pretty substantial ways. So what we're looking at here is the Star Wars Trivial Pursuit game that had DVDs with them so that you could use those for your pie wedge and winning questions. So it's a Trivial Pursuit DVD game, as they call it, for Star Wars, which by having the DVD does make it part of at least my Star Wars home video library. Star Wars has been released as a Trivial Pursuit game several times. This was the 1997 version of it, uh, the classic Trilogy Collector's Edition, but no DVD. Then you had one released as part of the Star Wars The Black Series product line back in 2016. But again, no DVD, just a regular Trivial Pursuit game in both of those cases. The treat for those of us who are fans of Star Wars Home Video came in 2005. That was when we had the Star Wars Trivial Pursuit DVD game get released. And in the US, there were two flavors of it, so to speak. We had that Collector's 10 version, that we have looked at in depth before. Pretty sweet here. Yes, this was one of those products that at the bottom tells you that the DVD player is not included in case you're a dumbass. <clears throat> to quote an old commercial, that's Mr. Dumas. Yeah, some people got that and everybody else is way, way, way too young. Then you had a regular version released in the US. Okay, this is the Star Wars Saga Edition Trivial Pursuit DVD. Saga Edition being how they differentiated this from that classic trilogy edition and the later Black Series version of it, okay? Now, if you go on to eBay looking for this, you will constantly find ones that look kind of like this, but not exactly in terms of the packaging. And it turns out also in terms of the stuff that's inside. That's because a lot of the ones floating around on eBay aren't actually from the US, they're from the UK instead, which is going to make a difference because these discs are DVDs. Region 1 for the US, Region 2 for the UK. The UK ones will not play here unless you've got yourself an all-region DVD player. So you need to make sure you're looking for the ones that go for your region. The US one here has that part up at the top that says, the world's most popular trivia game comes alive on your TV, has the two DVD discs here, says game includes two DVDs featuring exciting footage from all six movies, including episode three, because again, this is 2005, right? You got your ages down here with the Parker Brothers logo. Similar design on the side in terms of it's got those two discs as part of the uh, image here. We've looked at this in depth before. Okay, the other side's looking essentially the same. Again, the back, similar to the other one, again, telling us, hey, DVD player isn't included, Durr. The one you will see just as often, if not more often on eBay, though, that's the one from the UK, which is going to be new to us here on the show. That is this, as you hear all the pieces shifting around inside here, okay? So again, Star Wars Saga Edition Trivial Pursuit, featuring exciting footage from all six movies, including episode three, Move down to the bottom in this case here. Game includes two DVDs, still over on the side, but without those two big DVDs, you know, kind of shiny, now it just says DVD TV games. Parker Brothers logo has moved up there to the top corner. It shows a TV monitor with the game out, a new way to play on TV. You saw it set up differently. And then your play, pause, fast forward, and slow motion forward symbols there as well, along with the Horn Abbott company logo up there in the corner. And as with all DVD products in the UK, there is your rating as mandated by law. The side, similar imagery till we get off there to the far end, where it looks more like what we see in the front. Again, Parker Brothers Horn Abbott, DVD TV games. Then we've got our rating. And up above that is telling us two to 24 players, ages 10 years to adult. 24 players? Guess you're talking a team game here. Same on the reverse. The ends here, this one's actually got what's left of a uh, 
price tag on it, so I'll show you this in here. And it's Star Wars Saga Edition, Tier for Pursuit DVD. Got a star behind it. And then again, kind of a similar side layout to what we just saw on the long side. The back, similar to some degree to the US version, but not really. Um, you still have your information and your screenshots and your content information. It still tells you the DVD player isn't included, just in case you're a dumbass across the pond. Um, but they've reorganized mainly this side of the back here, while providing you with the necessary information down here. Region 2 PAL, Star Wars Hyperspace logo, Hasbro, Parker Brothers, or just Parker, uh, Horn Abbott, DVD video, again, PAL, uh, lion face in a triangle? Uh, made in Ireland, okay, C and the E thing, um, Hasbro.co.uk, TrooperPursuit.com, legally stuff right there. But it's not just the box that is different. Now, presumably the box is wrong on the UK version. Here's the US rule sheet here that does note that it is two to four players or teams, not two to 24, unless again, you're talking about team play. Down the back, there is Horn Abbott logo, hyperspace, right? StarWars.com, hyperspace. Hasbro logo, TrivialPursuit.com uh, for new products and offers. And then a proof of purchase for Parker Brothers with the logo and product number down here in the corner. Whereas the UK version on slightly thicker paper laid out essentially the same way for the most part, um, except then at the bottom down here is set up differently with them all just in a row with no proof of purchase or link, where it just has product number, StarWars.com hyperspace, Horn Abbott, Parker, Hasbro. You also notice from a legalese standpoint, there's a little bit of extra legalese about uh, this disc being made to work in the vast majority of DVD players in the US, blah, 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 or whatever, in these last couple of paragraphs here that don't exist on the UK version at all. The boards themselves fold out basically in the same way, but if you look at the back of the board from the UK, it says Trivial Pursuit in gold, whereas the board from the US says Trivial Pursuit DVD Star Wars Saga Edition in gold on the back. Packaging for your discs, basically the same. The purple's a little lighter on the UK version. And then of course on the back, you have the different sets of legalese depending on which country requires what. The inside where you keep records, totally the same. Then for the UK, here's disc one. Trooper Pursuit DVD up at the top, Star Wars Saga Edition underneath, copyright DVD 1. Over here, symbol that uh, I don't recognize at all. It's like two little people holding hands or something. Um, then the rating with the product number underneath it. And then DVD 2, basically the same thing with a different color scheme. Barring the wording of the copyright bit, the discs for the U.S. are effectively the same, just without the little two dudes symbol and the U.K. rating. The contents of the DVDs, by the way, are identical, and you would not believe the number of questions I had to try between all these different game modes and everything to try to find ones where the wording might have actually made a difference between the U.K. and the U.S., only to find that, yes, it does use the same uh, U.S. language. So in instances where you would typically see a word spelled differently in the U.K. than the U.S., it uses the American spelling. Only the disc labels themselves and the region are different, not the actual game content. Now, speaking of things that are the same, uh, the die, the same. The little pewter miniatures that you move around, the same. The little pie wedges, the same. The cards, the same, but packaged differently. In the US, you got this nifty little card holder with all your cards inside it here, divided up whenever it hasn't been shuffled around and knocked around very much. There you go. Into your two columns here, right? In the UK, you've got them packed with a little piece of white paper for two sets of cards. The rest of them in shrink wrap, because this happens to be a new copy, but instead of giving you a box, it's got one of these little things that says Trivial Pursuit DVD that you just put the cards you're using into. 
And I would also note that due to being set up differently, this is the organizational style, kind of an X style for the UK plastic insert to hold everything. Whereas the US one is more column-like, actually looks kind of like the insides of one of those uh, uh, box sets of uh, say Force Awakens or Rogue One or Last Jedi out of uh, Movie Next in Japan. So the same game essentially Slightly different components, two different regions, but you can tell by the packaging to make sure you're getting the one that you want for your particular region. But one of the things that's become kind of a thing in the U.S. more recently, you don't see it very often, but sometimes you do, is this idea of Trivial Pursuit without the board, without the pie wedges, without the little pieces to move around, where it just kind of narrows it down to the basics, narrows it down essentially to the questions and defeating each other in trivia, regardless of having a game board. One good example of this in the US right now is this product line here, uh, the Trivial Pursuit Marvel Cinematic Universe Data Archive Volume 1, which basically, when you look at these, there's a Volume 1 and Volume 2 that I have so far, I don't know that they've made any other ones. What you got in there is basically a set of cards and a little holder to ask your questions, and then a couple of dice of different colors with different symbols on them to tell you which categories to use. And it has rules specifically for how you would play without needing to have the game board. Well, in the UK, that Star Wars DVD-based Trivial Pursuit got its own version of something very similar to that that we didn't get over here. And oddly enough, there were two different versions of what is basically the same thing. Here's one of them. Much smaller, no game board, right? Okay. Up at the top, Parker, Imagination Logos. For two players or teams instead of four, ages 10 to adult, same thing, or 10 years to adult, play in another dimension. Another dimension? It's just a freaking DVD player. Okay, the play, pause, fast forward, and slow motion symbols there includes two DVDs and over 1,000 questions. DVD TV games, Trivial Pursuit, game underneath it you barely see the dvd game star wars saga edition you got your rating at the bottom again same one features footage from all six movies including episode three and okay, this was released in 2006 all right so at this point um revenge of the sith was already out spine there parker imagination dvd tv games down here's our logo again trivia pursuit dvd game Star Wars Saga Edition. Notice it does say game after DVD. We have Luke, Han, and Leia down here. This says, the discs and questions in this product are also found in the original Trivial Pursuit Star Wars DVD and board game. So, you know, at least don't buy this as a duplicate unless you're like me. Flip it around. Parker Brothers Imagination. Horn Abbott logos. Play in another dimension. DVD TV games. It says the same kind of warning about this is duplicate material. And then the same logo again with Yoda down here. Then the back, up at the top. Contents, 100 question cards, two dice, two DVDs, and instructions. Parker, Imagination, DVD TV games. There's a logo again with uh, Anakin here, Vader helmet over here. Down at the bottom, Hasbro, Horn Abbott, Star Wars Hyperspace, DVD video, PAL Region 2, CE thing, made in Ireland, and that odd little triangle with the lion in it again. Uh, and then above or above where the logo and UPC are, we get some text beginning here. It says, a step into a galaxy far, far away. Relive your favorite moments from the entire Star Wars saga and experience the films like never before in this Trivial Pursuit DVD game. See classic Star Wars scenes and galactic conflicts while your favorite Star Wars episodes come to life on your screen. There's an asterisk there. Uh, again, DVD player and TV not included. Moron. Uh, it says, this disc has been produced to meet and exceed all relevant digital versatile disc DVD specifications. However, it is not possible to create a disc that is compatible with every player. Should you experience any problems, please refer to the instructions inside. Kind of that same warning that was on the uh, game instructions in the U.S. regular version, uh, and presumably the collector's 10 as well. Then all your copyright information that pins this down again as 2006, not 2005. Now I point this out... And we go into detail with it because there was a second version. We'll look inside it in a second. Who's this? It's the same damn thing, just less colorful. 
and also copyright 2006. The product numbers actually are not the same, though. Um, one of them is uh, 0906 blah blah blah, the other one is 0806. Everything else is the same except the 9 and the 8 uh, in the product number for what that's worth. Okay, But here is the sort of grayed out, more serious looking version with basically the same thing here on the front and the side and the other side and the back, though the front is the one where really the color is kind of bled away out of it on purpose here as part of its design. In both cases, this is a slip cover. What's underneath is then the same in both cases. Trivial Pursuit, Star Wars Saga Edition, DVD TV Games, DVD TV Games, Trivial Pursuit, Star Wars Saga Edition, on the back, copyright, your Hasbro and your Horn Abbott logos. Interestingly, the product number down here, on both of them, is the one that has the eight, not the nine. The nine seems to only apply to that sort of grayish color scheme slip cover that goes over this. So presumably that's the reissue or the reissue of this reissue because these are all being reissued from content as the outer packaging even says from the larger board game. The instruction book then, the one telling you how to play, then goes back to having a differentiation between the eight or nine version of it. The more colorful packaging has your orangish, yellowish logo there. It says Trivial Pursuit DVD game, Star Wars Saga Edition, rules of play for two players or teams age, ages 10 years to adult Vader down there. Okay. The back okay, gives you your winning the game scenario, gives you your legalese and whatnot. Star Wars hyperspace logo, Horn Abbott, Hasbro, Made in Ireland, Parker, Imagination, product number with the eight in it. This whole thing folds out. There's answering DVD questions there. The rest of the rules on the inside set to a backdrop of Star Wars images. The other one, the grayed out outer slip cover, has the exact same rules. Exact same. Except the product number has the nine in it. And you'll notice it's that silvery, more subdued version of the logo. Whatever. The interior packaging of both is then the same. I'll show you the one of mine that's not a little bit damaged on the inside. You've got your discs over here. These are the same discs that we saw back with the bigger board game set, okay? Albeit with a more subdued color scheme in this case. This is the more subdued color scheme, the one with the nine in the name, all right? And a little arm here. Then off to the side, you have two dice up here, which we'll take a look at, and your pack of questions. This one happens to be one uh, that hasn't been opened. I've opened the other one, but that's all the questions that you have there, your hundred question cards. Interestingly, in the case of the cards, you get some little like dead space cards, right? And the dead space cards have the product number that matches that particular set. So nine in the case of the one with the, the grayed out looking color scheme and eight in the case of the one with the orangish color scheme. I would also note here that whereas this is a design of the top of the answer side of the cards of the original board game for the UK, this is a design for these smaller packages. So one says Trivial Pursuit DVD Star Wars Saga Edition, the other one Trivial Pursuit DVD Game Star Wars Saga Edition, and the DVD game is incredibly teeny tiny up there at the top as it has been all along. My arm is almost broken off in the orangish color one, but there's your DVDs with their color schemes from that one. There's a slight difference. And I would note that they are different in design slightly, even though the contents is the same, to the ones in the regular boxed board game. Because the ones for these have the DVD video symbol and the Region 2 PAL symbol over off to the side, rather than the two dudes together over off to the side and notice the logo is set up differently down there at the bottom and DVD one or two has been moved up to above the hole. Also the Trivial Pursuit DVD logo up at the top is different because one's that DVD game that's standalone and the other is the one from the box. So same content again different label. As for your dice you have one that represents the different pie wedge colors and one that has you basically with either a card 
or a DVD symbol to let you know where your question's going to come from. So yes, whereas from what I can tell, I don't think there was a collector's tin edition in the UK, at least I haven't seen evidence of one of those yet, though I'd like to be surprised and find that there is one, it looks like in the US, it was regular or it was collector's tin, but both of them were the big boxed games with the boards. Whereas in the UK, you had a regular version that was the full-fledged game, and then a year later, you had these weird smaller versions that let you play just using cards and dice without necessarily needing to have an actual game board, pie wedges, and so on to be able to play Star Wars Trivia Pursuit in a little bit more compact manner, similar to what we see with some of the more recent products in the US, like the Marvel Cinematic Universe Trivial Pursuit stuff that we saw there. But odd, and then in the same year, we had two different versions of that smaller one, the orangish and the silverish, more washed out colors, with the same content, but seemingly a different printing with different product numbers and slight differences in coloration, whereas the game itself is the same. Kind of odd, unless, unless, it turns out that the cards themselves have different questions on them from one pack to another. I haven't been anal or retentive enough to actually go through them to check that, but I can tell you that the DVDs are indeed the same. If someone has been anal or retentive enough to check that, feel free to let me know in the comments. All of these, though, are great ways to play some Star Wars Trivial Pursuit if you can find somebody who will play with you. Most of my friends who are Star Wars geeks like me love this game and can never find people to play with them because they would lose against the person asking, hey, let's play. But that's it's kind of the, the curse of being the uh, very knowledgeable Star Wars fan, isn't it? Great Star Wars Trivial Pursuit game, very rarely played. With that, though, we'll wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching, and may the Force be with the home video viewers.